swore I wouldn't do this. But let's talk about Keffels again. <laughs> So, a recent development, and again, I've really tried not to care. I really have. But it's kind of hard to not care about this one. She's a Fed. I'll take it, let everyone take a minute to digest that one. More to the point... She's um, teaming up with Vosh. <clears throat> Sorry, I almost lost my lunch. Just the just speaking that man's name makes me want to vomit. But yeah, no. Apparently, Clara Sorrenti is now essentially getting in bed with Vosh. That's a. That's a disgusting thought. <clears throat> Not literally. Well, we don't know if literally yet. Um, but yeah, no, she is um, teaming up with Vosh and the Voshoids. So as if Keffel's stands can't get annoying enough, now we have to deal with the, the potential of a Keffel stand Voshoid mix. And I don't know, honestly, out of the two, which one is more annoying and just, yeah, I don't really know. But the potential of the two of those people collaborating and their stands just eating it up gives me heartburn, my a migraine, COVID, Ebola. It instills me with a sense of rage and indigestion and nausea that I have never felt before, not even when I had COVID. And that's saying something. No flu, no nothing has ever brought me to the point of sheer repulsion, you know, and made me want to vomit more than Keffels and Vosh teaming up. It really goes to show just how much Clara has you know, shifted to the right, you know, because essentially she's gone from initially just denouncing Marxism-Leninism and basically being a raging anti-Stalinist, which that itself I don't really consider a, a knock against somebody. You can be against Stalin, just don't be a fucking, you know, nonce about it. Um... You know, the whole thing is, is that, you know, she is now outright denouncing communism, which is something that Vosh inherently does. Because they're the types of people, and Zoe Bakeroids do this too, but it's this whole concept this libertarian socialist ideal you know anarcho kitty crap shit lib crap that is just commonplace to shit on mls to shit on communism to shit on you know the very foundations of what marx stood for because to essentially denounce communism and in denounce Marx is to denounce revolution. And that's exactly what they're doing. These are the types of people that are inherently denouncing 
revolution. They are denouncing the, the very fabric of what literally can bring a better solution, an alternative solution, an actual equality, you know, for not only, you know, for women, but for trans, trans liberation, for gay liberation, for, you know, people of color, you know, ending wealth uh, inequality and ending poverty and homelessness. You're basically, by deny, denouncing communism, you're denouncing all of that. At that point, you might as well go, go be a run as a fucking Democrat or a Republican, you know, for God's sakes. You know, but this is the shit that we've come to expect from Clara. I mean, this is the woman that was freaking booted from, from the Communist Party of Canada for being toxic and, well, denouncing Marxism-Leninism and Stalinism. You know, and then, you know, has the, you know, the audacity to then, you know, go uh, screaming that she's being doxxed as a ploy to garner sympathy and milk money out of her gullible cult followers and go on a lavish vacation that, oh, no, no, no I'm sorry. I, I'm, I mean that you went on the run because you were scared for your life, right? No, no, you went on a fucking vacation. Oh, I'm in New York. I'm in Ireland. I'm in... Go fuck yourself. And then goes and tries to compare her suffering, but you know, again, milking it, to that of an African American man who was medically tortured. And then tries to cover it up, not only cover it up, but then doubles down when when you're uh faced with uh overwhelming um dogpiling from, you know, and rightfully so, considering that you are a horrible person, Clara, you really are. Um, and then there's the rumors of the fact that she may or may not have, um, doxxed a minor. And this was, I don't know if this was last year or if this was many years ago, but it came out in the last couple of months that she may have doxxed a minor's inappropriate photos and put it on the internet. That's called CP, Clara. And then let's not even go on the potential rumors of grooming, but those have yet to be substantiated, and even myself am kind of skeptical, as there's many people that try to make up grooming allegations against trans people, particularly from the far right, especially Pat Sox. So, that one is yet to be substantiated, but it's still a rumor nonetheless. But then you really don't make your image look very good when you end up essentially metaphorically, possibly literally, getting in bed with Vosh. <laughs> You know, Vosh, the Fed that is literally like championing uh, the CPUSA, the very CPUSA that then, you know, basically, you know, sucks the cock of the Democratic Party. Vosh himself, who does that quite often, sucks the cock of the Democratic Party and oftentimes, you know, is telling people, go vote Democrat, go vote Democrat, it's going to make everything better. And then, you know, and then on top of that, taking money from the Democratic Party. Because, you know, he's saying a lot of this largely because he's paid for it. So, yeah. And then, of course, there's the other, there, there's rumors against himself of him having CP and grooming minors. And many other grotesque things. So, you know, again, those rumors have not been substantiated. I'm just bringing them to light. 
but it's still considering the similarities between you two I guess it really is no surprise that you've teamed up you are both horribly toxic people you are both potential potential you know p3d zeros um and you're both a bunch of radical fucking shit libs so i guess really the next question here is where does clara sorrenti go from here because at this point <laughs> Fuck, you're already getting in bed with Bo with uh, Vosh. Why not get in bed with the fucking Pat Sox, huh? You, I'm almost certain that, you know, maybe uh, Spanky McTanky, uh, you know, Miss, Mr. Border King himself, Caleb Maupin, would probably take you in a heartbeat in multiple ways. <clears throat> maybe you might even let him be able to, he might even want uh, let you spank him. Um, yeah, no, I, I honestly, hell, at this point, get in, why not pull a Samira, a Samira clan and get in bed with Hawes? I think that one's a little less likely, though. I, I honestly think, though, that she's more likely to actually get in bed with the uh, CPI cultists than, uh, <laughs> than anything else, but who knows? I think that's just more more possible and highly highly more likely than joining Hawes and the you know that group of people. But then again, we also have to consider this. Clara Sorrenti doesn't really have an ideology. She doesn't really She's not really a liberal. She's not a communist or an anarchist or a socialist. Or she's not a... And she's definitely not a fascist. At least not yet. She's definitely not a conservative. That's very obvious. But she's... At mo most, she's definitely a freaking idiot. I call her a shit lib because she is, in many aspects, the definition, the textbook definition of a liberal. However, I think it's more accurate to say that Clara Sorrenti's ideology is Clara Sorrenti. Keffel's ideology is Keffel's. How can Clara Sorrenti best benefit Clara Sorrenti? That is the ideology. That is her, her whole line of thinking. That That is literally from the moment she wakes up in the morning, it's take shower, eat hot chip, brush teeth, and how can I being, be an annoying, toxic person today to benefit my own self-worth well, and wealth? That is literally Clara Sorrenti, in a nutshell. So, at the end of the day, it's not far-fetched to say that she would join the CPI. It might be a little far-fetched to say she would join Hawes and them. Not saying it couldn't happen, but I think that it's more likely that the CPI, the LaRouchian sort of cultists are more likely to cozy up to her and try to welcome her into the fold as a way to basically say, oh, look at this, we're not transphobic, we're not homophobic, look at who we've got here. Because it would be a mutual benefit for the two of them. You see where I'm going with that. It would be a very mutual benefit for Clara because, hey, extra 15 seconds of fame, you know, whatever. And Caleb Maupin gets to have, you know, his little, you know, pat on the back of look what I did moment. It is potentially possible and highly likely that that will eventually be the next step. In fact, I'm going to call it now. Let's see what happens in the next few months, maybe a year and see if Miss Sorrenti doesn't end up going the route that I just described. 
Until then, we have to be faced with the equally annoying and repulsive thought that she is literally getting in bed with Vosh, whether figuratively or literally, or both. <laughs> I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. I'm going to go throw up. Super sweet,